Dazin, University of Copenhagen and University of Aalborg. Dazin manufactures and distributes fuel pellets in the developing countries for cooking and heating purposes. The fuel pellets are free for rural households and revenue is generated by selling the pellets to urban households. The idea is that people and locals participate in collection of the raw materials resulting in no raw material cost. Three billion people in the developing countries still use traditional fuels like firewood, charcoal, crop residues and animal dung, the way it has been practiced since humans discovered fire. However, smoke from these traditional open fires accounts for 4 million deaths annually in the world, impacting mostly women and children. Dazin targets developing countries' households, restaurants and commercial activities for cooking and heating purposes. If Dazin wins this competition, they will continue expanding in Bhutan after their success in Rwanda. SBT Aquatech, Technical University of Denmark SBT Aquatech will develop, produce and sell a continuous bacteria sensor for use in the water industry. The largest contamination problem in drinking water today is an E. coli bacterial contamination, which leads to acute diarrhoea and hospitalisation. Today's testing methods take days and rely on manual sample extraction. SBT Aquatech's solution to this issue is a continuous bacteria sensor, which will provide the water distributors with hourly updates on bacteria concentration in the drinking water. This enables quick and effective action to be taken when the drinking water is contaminated. If SBT Aquatech wins the prize, it will be spent developing the prototype and securing the IP rights to the technology. Flash Pyrolysis Reactor Technical University of Denmark and Copenhagen Business School The team's compact flash pyrolysis reactor can transform biomass-like sludge into bio-oil, biogas and biochar. Wastewater treatment plants pay taxes per tonne to dispose of their sludge, which is a significant cost. The reactor reduces the waste volume and thus reduces the cost while also producing sustainable energy in the form of bio-oil. Furthermore, phosphor is a scarce resource and the reactor enables the reuse of phosphor for fertilizers. If the team wins, they will use the money to install a pilot plant at a Danish water treatment plant to test the technology and get immediate feedback from customers. <laughs>